Tierra here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. The next holiday slash winter soap I have up my sleeve is based on the plant mistletoe. And it's actually inspired by this fragrance by Crafter's Choice called Mistletoe. This is one of those soaps that I had a general idea of what I wanted it to look like. And then last night, laying in bed is when the rest of it all came together. And that typically is how my soaps go. I don't ever draw anything out. I just kind of write it down and note it in my head and kind of gather everything together beforehand. Generally it works out. All right, so I'm going to get started here by mixing in my lye solution. That is a mixture of distilled water, sodium lactate, and Tessa silk into my oils. As always, I put coconut milk powder and kaolin clay in there. Give this a little buzz, make sure all the bubbles are out of my stick blender here. I'm gonna start by splitting off some batter into these two cups. All right, keep inter interrupted by this dumb camera that wants to turn off on me. So I split this off into two colors. This was the Extravagant Sparkle a Gold, and in here is a Blizzard Mica with a little bit of titanium dioxide dispersed in water. Those are from my Mica Obsession, Keely over at Soy and Shea. Sent them to me for my birthday last year pull them out for special occasions, like around the holiday, because I think they're just the perfect colors for my holiday soaps. Into the big bucket. I have put some Savage Garden, and that is my nurture. And soaping on the fly, I think the plan is I'm going to, oh, I should have first off started by mixing up the white there, and not the green. But I'm going to do an in the pot swirl with the white and the green, and then, Yep, too late. <laughs> and then I would do a drop swirl with that gold. All right, let's pop the fragrance in. Notes of resinous pine, rich woods, and pineapple are, what are in this fragrance, and it's a Yankee Candle dupe. And there is no vanillin in this. And it should behave. So let's hand stir that in. Do our little swirly design with our in the pot swirl and drop swirl into our molds. Alright, on top of the soap, I have made lots of little teeny tiny embeds out of soap dough, including these little teeny tiny leaves. And I know they look like holly leaves, but I thought that would be the best for this design. And these little white berries that I made out of soap, soap dough as well. So we'll put three of those on, and then each side will have one of these leaves. I will be here for a while <laughs> doing this. Um, the original design that I had in my head for this soap 
was red berries and I started to roll them all out and halfway through I realized that it was looking too much like a holly soap and I was a little confused. <laughs> I blame Wholesale Supplies Plus for the stock picture. Um, most of the mistletoe that I have seen has been white and that is in decoration form, you know, that plastic stuff. I've probably seen real mistletoe before, I can't remember. Have you guys ever seen real mistletoe <laughs> in real life? Not like that plastic stuff that you hang up for the holidays. But most of the time the berries, more often than not, are white. And the stock picture in Wholesale Supplies Plus had red berries and so I was just so thrown off. Um, and that's fine because I, I stopped and I made all the white berries and then I had to do some research. I was curious, are there red or white or both? And there are both, um, but there's a lot of species of mistletoe and I learned a lot in this research about mistletoe and things that I just did not know. For one, it is a parasitic plant. Now I knew it was toxic, it is a poisonous plant, and that's why they advise you not to put real mistletoe in your house. But I had no idea that it was a parasite, and it lives off of host trees, and it just grows on them and can even eventually kill them. It is also a desert plant. Not something you think of when you think of the holidays. You don't think of deserts and toxic and <laughs> poisonous parasitic plants. So then I had to do a little more research into why does mistletoe always represent like love around the holidays? You know, you kiss under the mistletoe. And it dates back for a very long time throughout a lot of cultures. Um, I don't know, it just seems like an odd thing to associate with the holidays, but it kind of makes sense at the same time, I guess. But a lot of cultures regard it as a sign of fertility, and so that makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> fertility is what I guess the tradition stemmed from. I mean, the symbolism can be found back to the ancient Greeks, to Norse mythology, the Romans, just the Middle Ages. It is out there. So that was fun to learn about mistletoe. I'll never think of it the same way again. But I am going to sit here and stick all of these little teeny tiny leaves and berries on the top of the soap. I am then going to take some red glitter and sprinkle that on top. I also have these gold bursting leaves. These are from Brambleberry. Also love bringing them out for the holidays. And I will sprinkle those on top. Give this a spray with the rubbing alcohol. Let it sit for 24 hours. And then I will come back and cut it and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Alright, let's cut into this and see what we've got. I've got so much soap off to the side to cut. I've just been so busy 
Ooh, I just love those colors that Keely sent me. That gold and that white are just so shimmery. The camera does not do it justice. But those are so pretty. It smells really good, let me see. Yep. If you like pine scents, this is for you. It smells so good, like a Christmas tree. <laughs> and of course, if you've smelled that Yankee candle before, you will have an idea of what this smells like. I don't think it smells too much like pine saw or anything, but it is a really nice natural pine scent. Mm. I gotta smell each bar. It smells so good. And I love these swirls in here. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what I even did. I think I did it in the pot swirl with the white and the green. And then I did a drop swirl with the gold. I forgot already. I've been really busy and these have been sitting for a while, which is the case with most of my soaps right now. Anyway, <laughs> these will be available on November 27th, so mark your calendars. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this soap making adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. New to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. Until next time, I hope you have a very nice day. I will smell you later.